Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I got some fan mail. We always love to do that on this channel from two really great members of the community, Phenomenal Figures and Corn Dog. Two of my good friends that I've been talking to back and forth. I just thought, hey, I'm about to leave America at the time of recording this. I'm leaving in three days. And I just thought like, let's get these open and show them off on camera before I pack everything away. Plus I wanna save on, uh, you know, getting everything into my suitcase so I don't need this big box. So the first one is from Corn Dog, and yeah, this is just gonna be a quick video, just showing these off. I'm really happy with uh, with what these people send me, so I really wanted to show you guys. Corn Dog, after watching my reviews of the Armory packs messaged me and said, hey Simon, do you have the Siege armor pack? And I was like, no, I don't. So he was like, do you want to trade? So we organized a fun little trade. I sent him some stuff and he sent me this. And I'm going to really enjoy unboxing this on a separate review. It's got some of my favorite armors. I mean, particularly it's like Halo 3, right? Like Halo 3 is my favorite and this EOD is awesome. You can see this classic problem with Mega back in the day that the head was a different plastic than the actual armor. So it's a different color slightly. And oh, re Recon, give me recon, Can has recon. Look at that, so dope, man. Like I really love the clean white packaging of these ones. And you can see some of the other armor packs, including the Helio Skrill one, love that fuel rod. And this, it only comes with a plain SMG, but I am excited to unbox this and check it out. Look at that nice EOD. Yeah, really fun. Thank you very much, Corn Dog. And he sent me some bonus figures. I didn't ask for these ones, but he sent them anyway, cause he's a good guy. I got a white elite zealot here. I can't remember what set this came from. Obviously a Halo 4 one, maybe one of the armory packs, perhaps. But he comes with the old school blue energy sword. Looking really good. Very uh, soft plastic there as well. Uh, the old school sort of paint application here, but I love me a zealot and uh, Halo 4 as well. I, I like I liked Halo 4 elites to an extent. I didn't really like the storm elites, but the zealots were always cool. And then we've got a Halo Infinite Series 2 blind bag grunt. I believe it's a blind bag grunt, might not be, but yeah, the grunt Imperial. I always like the fact that you can build this one with studs, great touch, and the blue little ring on his mouthpiece is great too. And then we've got a blue recon. So these two can be best buddies. Yeah, this, uh, I just love recon. And Halo 3 recon especially. J just perfectly executed design. Like whoever designed, drew up the concept for Halo 3 recon, you did a great job. And it's still a really great armor in Halo now. So Corn Dog sent me the Siege armor pack and three figures. Thank you very much, Corn Dog. And and I hope you enjoyed my section of the trade as well. Then we've got phenomenal figures. Here we go, look at that. It's George. What up, George? So, got some really nice messages here. The SS Motion or the Domain. Well done for knowing both, that's awesome. You may read on camera. To Simon, AKA the Mega Constructs Guy. I started collecting Mega Bloks when I was eight years old and I watched you back then. I took an eight year long break and you helped me get back into them. You also inspired me to change my WWE YouTube channel to part WWE and part Mega Constructs. You don't have to, but it would mean a lot if you could give me a shout out. Sincerely, Phenomenal Figures. Guys, Go check out Phenomenal Figures. I will pin Phenomenal Figures in the comments down below. I really want to make more travel blocks at all times, my friend. At all times, I love travel blocks. All right, then we've got some fluff, some clouds. <laughs> and what are we gonna put on our little fluffy layer? How about this Halo Heroes Series 12 Spartan Recon? Really nice. I've always been a big fan of Recon, as you can tell. This is apparently a Recon episode, and this is no exception. It's an interesting color choice, the oranges and the blues, especially the fact that the blue is the only part that has weathering on. I've already got the recon, so I'm gonna keep this nice and sealed on display in England. I also have a... Which one is it? I have another couple of these Series 12 sealed, but I don't have one of these recons, so that's a really fun one. The next, oh, look at this, some drop pods, yes. You know on this channel, I love drop pods. This is one of the original, well, not original. These were like mega constructs started to try and make drop pods more budgeted, more affordable. Uh, originally, they were like $12, and they came with like, you know, opening doors and like detailed colored figures and weapons. These are like more budget. These were like 4 or $5, and they just came with a figure inside. And then eventually, there were cryo tube versions as well. Whoa, we've got some good figures here. We got some really good figures. And this seems to be a code for Halo Infinite. Thank you very much, Phenomenal Figures, and I would love to give this out to a fan. If you would like to claim this, it's first come, first serve. Check out 
out this code here. Go and punch that into Halo Waypoint. To the winner go the spoils. Thank you very much, Phenomenal Figures. That's a really cool thing to include for our fans. And then we've got a load of figures. Look at this. A Spartan Mark VII in orange. Love that. Comes with the Marine Platoon pack. Ah, oh, we've got an ODST. Ah, oh, I love this blue ODST. Has some really nice camo on it. Like, I've always been a big fan of this figure in particular. Nice to have him again. We've got a drone. Yes. I always need more drones for my Halo 3, Halo 2 dioramas. So thank you so much for that. And a Halo for Master Chief in blue. I believe that might have come with one of the buildable vehicles, like the micro helmets. Wow, there's some good figures in here. Look at this. Whoa, and a load of accessories too. First of all, we got some funny things. Yes, he did include a McFarlane George, which is so cool. Missing its arm, but would be great for customs, I'm sure. So <laughs> that's dope to have a McFarlane George. And the head of, and a <laughs> can you guess where this is from? Because this is a old school piece of uh, Halo memorabilia. Back at the Xbox 360 launch, we had new gamer avatars. And one of the things that they sold was Halo avatar packs, like little blind bags. And one of them was this Elite. So really funny to see that again. Yeah, that is an Elite. We've got more figures here. We've got a Hazop with an interchangeable Mark V B helmet. This was from one of the figure packs, like an old school platoon pack, I guess. A Halo 4 Marine, you love to see it. An NMPD Trooper, this is like an NMPD Survivor, he's got no armor, I dig it. A Storm Elite that I believe came with one of these drop pods, a little bit of a different one. It was like a purple and a crimson, this one came with the purple, so really nice. Some stuff for customs, we've got like a lot of like, scraps of figures that I think we can just use for dioramas or for customs, some random pop and swaps there. Really nice to see. And then a red Gungnir. This is from the Flame Hog. New articulation is very generous and so is this Spartan Buck. What a great selection of figures, including some weapons as well. And the last thing is this Gummy Jackal. Wow. A purple gummy jackal only comes with one hand, so I think he sent me some things for customs here, but I really appreciate it. And then we've also got some of these uh, little accessories to clip onto our drone. So all in all, this is really fun. Thank you so much, Corndog and Phenomenal Figures, for sending me and being very generous with what you're sending me. Corndog, uh, we did a great trade. Phenomenal Figures, uh, shout out to you. Thank you so much for this. That's really, really kind of you, really generous. And I love doing fan mail unboxings of any kind. I love any way I can interact with the community. The best way of getting in touch with with me is on our discord link in the description of this video as always and look at this what a mega fan haul yes yes Mega and McFarlane. Wow. Shout out to you all, and thank you so much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. I really appreciate this good tidings from Corndog and Phenomenal Figures. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and the domain is signing off. Dun, 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 dun.